What's up, everybody? We're back. We're heading to Aspire Coffee. We're on version 13.2.2 in the Cybertruck. And I do want to say that we're patiently waiting for an update, but as of yesterday, maybe even the day before, the Model 3 on 13.2.2 and the Cybertruck have been performing really well. Yes, it has. Day drives, night drives, it's like, wow. Like, it was really kind of blowing us away yesterday. Definitely even felt like a different driver. It was nice. Yeah, let us know in the comments below if you ever feel like you're getting a shadow update. With this new update about to release, I feel like something's going on in the background. All right, we got the green light. Now on today's drive, we're gonna be heading to Aspire Coffee. Then we're gonna route from Aspire to the West Tropical Supercharger to top up. Currently, we got about 153 miles, 47% on the battery. Let's go ahead and put it into hurry mode. Now just past this light is where it fails quite often to get into the right lane. So on the last video we did of this test, we intervened and put on the blinker. Today, we're gonna not intervene. Let's see what happens. Once we do make it to Aspire Coffee, we'll test out an auto park. And with that being said, 476 people sitting on Wi-Fi on Teslify waiting for the 45.25.15, which is 13.2.4. Yep, we don't think she's going through. Okay, so this is the problem. This is a turning lane. She thinks it's a straight lane. Let's see what this Jeep does in front of us. They don't have their blinker on. Are they going to go straight? Well, the car in front of us, in front of the Jeep, turned left. Okay, the Jeep is turning left. And we are definitely not turning left. So go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and disengage. We'll make the left turn and then flip around. Even though we should be able to go straight here. I think so, too, <laughs> Unfortunately not. Yep. Let's go ahead and, um, as soon as we make the turn, let's re-engage. Now what it's going to do is probably going to wrap us around to the opposite direction. Oh, not sure why she did that. Let's see what she's doing here. So she actually pulled in to the back of a spire without any routing navigation. That technically is a spire right there. And yep. she's going to park. <laughs> All right, very good. Oh. So she parked us in here. On now, the other side. And I don't think we are in a parking spot, really. Let's go ahead and disengage, and we're going to go and do a U-turn, get back on track. All right, we're back, everybody. We had to do whip around at Aspire. We're going to be testing out that U-turn. Originally, when it pulled us into Aspire, it wanted to route us around the back way, away from our U-turn. All right, four-way stop. See how we are on this That's curb. Pretty close. All right, pretty close. It did do a little auto correct maneuver right as it got close, which I, I wish it would just do it in advance. All right, now our U-turn is set for up ahead. Are we going to jump in the left lane and do it here? Uh. <laughs> it's just hit or miss. You never know if it's going to follow the navigation here or not. I cannot wait until we get some navigation updates. All right, we're initiating the U-turn. Full lock. Perfect. Now again almost bad behavior it kind of wanted to e ease toward the middle lane again now let's see where she parks here at aspire then from this route we're going to head to the west tropical supercharger precondition on the way interesting route in here <laughs> I love this coffee shop. Yeah, beautiful area. Nice. It's nice. Just methodically going around the parking lot here. Pedestrians walking around. And is she going to find a spot? All right, let's go ahead and disengage and do an auto park here. Just pull up a little and we'll, we'll pick one of these mm -hmm. spots here on the right. Okay. Twenty seconds. Mm -hmm. 
about 38, 39, 40 seconds roughly to park. Just a little bit too slow. I think if we can cut this down in half, we'll be golden. Let's see, let's go ahead and pull up the map here. If we press that, we can get the superchargers. We're gonna head to West Tropical. It shows two stalls available. And let's go ahead and press the brake. Wait for the FSD wheel to pop up. If we get one, it has been knocking us out of FSD and it did it again. Go ahead and put it in park. I'm not sure why it's knocking us out. All right, let's try it again. What's odd is it, it knocks us out quite a bit when uh, we're doing a video. It let's, does. Let's really go. Have it. All right, you can hear the motors wind, winding up for preconditioning, activating FSD. We're in hurry mode. She's pulling out on her own. Very good. Now let's see if we can get there. Zero disengagement, zero intervention. We obviously didn't make it to Aspire. We definitely had to intervene. Got in the wrong lane there. I really wish that just when there's disengagements that, and that's supposedly the idea that it sends them to Tesla, right? All right, we are clear on the inside lane. And we went right out to the outside, kind of, we do have a car back there, not too bad. Although I would have liked to see it follow the inside lane. Now currently at the supercharger, there's two stalls available. This is a super busy one. I wanna say it's like 51 cents a kilowatt right now. Two of eight available, 250 kilowatts. We are in hurry mode with the autopilot offset set at 10%. So with that, it'll be able to go 10% over the max speed limit. Yeah, so the new update we're waiting for is 13.2.4. We're currently on 13.2.2, but I don't know. I feel like we definitely got some shadow updates yesterday. It was just performing so amazing that we're just going like, wow. Errors that it was making in the past, we're not there. It's just from day to day, you just really can't tell though. All right, now up here, we have had a problem where we'll drive into the safety lane. Let's see if it's corrected. So we should sweep out to the right, not straight in the middle. All right, very good. Now we're gonna be entering the freeway here. Let's see if we hit the max. So they need to adjust the buffer between entering, like right now we should be on freeway speed, but let's see if we hit the max entering the freeway on city streets. Looks like we haven't hit it yet. And about now is probably where it'll go to uh, highway profile. Yep, so we're at 72 max now. It just depends. I feel like it's an issue that they've been working on. Because what happens is you'll fly up onto the feeder, onto the freeway, and hit the max, and then go slow all the way up, and then it switches over to highway speed. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but today it didn't. All right, merge on the freeway with some traffic here, traffic cones. Can't wait for this bridge to be finished. We'll definitely take you on it. Now we do have a, we can either take the freeway or we can exit the freeway and go through the feeder roads here. We're gonna go ahead and just stay on the fastest route. Test out some highway end to end. Look at that truck. Quite a bit of oncoming traffic here. I will say in the past, she used to stay in this right lane, but ever since a few updates or a couple updates ago, she does move over in advance, mm -hmm. which is ideal. I don't like being on that inside lane with those com cars coming off the, the feeder. All right, we have hit our max 72 in hurry. And that's why I like that offset low, 
because if you have it at 20, 30, 40% offset on the freeway, she's gonna be doing like 79, 80 almost all the time with traffic, in Las Vegas traffic at least, because traffic moves fast here. Most definitely does. Yep. Preparing for our exit, 0.5 a mile. We have quite a bit of cars here lined up behind us. We got our arrow on. Car on the side of the road, changing a tire. That's a rough spot. All right, they let us in, very good. Now we've had multiple problems on this exit for the Centennial, because it's a pretty fast sweeper to the right. We've had it where it slows down too much and enters it too slow. But most of the time it goes in too fast. But let's see I'm how she does. Let it be and see what happens. Yep. Yeah. Yesterday it came in a little too fast. Christy oh, disengaged. Man. We weren't on video, but but here it's a little. For me, this is too slow. It, Thirty-four that, miles that an hour. Was chill, yeah. It's a little too slow. Though. I think they got to keep working on that behavior. Because coming in slow or coming in too fast definitely an issue on the feeders. Oh, for sure. Or for the exit feeders, at least. Green protected left. It is showing zero stalls available now at the supercharger. But what I've noticed is people tend to pull in and out pretty quick. Ooh, a little wow. correction around that U turn again. Or not a U turn, but around the curve. Ooh, when she sped up quick, hit the max. Like she wants to go on hurry, that's for sure. It was a good speed up with traffic though, but she wanted to speed. I wonder if there's actually people that don't speed. Because, like, we're pulling all this data from video clips, right? Anyhow, turning right. And then once we turn left, go ahead and disengage Chrissy, but it's going to make us turn right again. And then we will go to the supercharger to see if we can find a stall. There's one open. Yep, showing one available. So if you click on it, it says five-minute wait. Sometimes it takes a second to update. It'll show you, like, one stall available. We've been pretty lucky every time we have come here. Yep. Yeah, we haven't had to wait once in the Cybertruck. No. And let's back it in there. Yep, always want to be closer to the stall side. Yes. And then back it up close. A little bit closer. That's good. Full supercharger as usual here at West Tropical. Let's go ahead and plug her in. All right, we're all plugged in. I do want to mention a couple of items that I'm thinking about buying. We did remove these. We did remove the uh, rear view mirror here. So I'm thinking of getting a little like, uh, how do you call it? What are those parts called? There's little machines that, oh, a 3D printer. Yeah, so it's a little oh. 3D printer part that goes there for your, but each, you have to make sure you get the right part for your radar detector. Uh, we're charging at 115 kilowatts. Again, pretty slow for the Cybertruck. Mildly preconditioned with about half the battery. We're right at about 46%, is that right? 46, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.